the angular web application works in the browser of the user and in the browser user has the complete control on the url what will happen if user is entering a wrong url in the browser let's see in the angular application we are having this bookstore application and this application is running by using the ng server command here is the browser and this application is running on this localhost 4200 if i click on all these links then everything is working fine but what will happen if I will add some extra dummy words here in the URL something like that just hit the enter button and this time you can notice we are getting an error over here in the console it is saying cannot match any route whatever we are putting in the URL that does not match to any route and we are getting the home page this is not an ideal way to handle the situation in this scenario if user is entering some wrong data in the URL then we need to show a 404 page let's say how it will work to display a 404 page let's add one more component over here and we can add this component at any place let's say here i'm adding it in the shared module to generate a new component i have to write the command by using the angular cli so here i'm writing ng g c and then shared components here we can write either 404 or let's say not found hit the enter button inside the shared folder we have a new folder with name components and inside this components folder we have one more folder that is not found and then we have this not found component.html and all other files let's open this file and here let's write a message and here i'm writing that the page that you are looking for does not exist click here to go to the home page and here i have to make this here as an clickable link so for that i can use this anchor tag and in this anchor tag here i'm writing here then i can use the router link and to navigate to the home page we can simply use the forward slash save the changes we are using this shared module for this particular component and now let's go to the app module file and first let's import that shared module over here like this just save the changes and let's go back to the browser and so far everything is working fine here we are inside this app routing.module.ts file and to handle the situation where the resource does not exist and i want to display a not found page we have to create one more route over here so let's copy this particular path and paste it at the bottom side here we have to provide double asterisk if we are providing this double asterisk then the angular will display the component that we will write over here and here i want to write the not found component this one just save the changes and let's go back to the browser and let's enter something wrong over here you can see we are getting the message from that not found page the page that you are looking for does not exist now let's click on this login module then you can notice instead of having the login page we are getting this 404 page over here click on this all books and here again we are getting this 404 page and we already have the component corresponding to this particular all books route but here instead of that component we are getting this 404 page component why is this happening here in the angular for this let's go to the app routing module and here you can see that we are defining this particular path at the last the order of the routes matter a lot in the angular application by default the angular search for top to bottom but if there is no corresponding route then by default this particular route is used so in this scenario let's go to the app module and you can see that we are using this app routing module at the top level and all other routes that is the user public shared we are using at the bottom side so instead of using this app routing module at this place let's cut it from here and let's paste it at the bottom side okay just save the changes and again go back to the browser refresh the page and here you can see that this time this all books is also working fine if i click on the login then you can see that login is also working fine this one as well and all of the pages are working fine but if i make any change here then you can see we are getting this 404 page 
Now let's try one more experiment and again just go to the app routing file and here let's update this particular order. So I'm using this at the top level, save the changes and this time you can see we are getting a 404 page for this about us and how it works but all these other pages are working fine. Why? Because in the app module we are using all other modules above this app routing module and here in the app routing module we have defined these two paths below to this particular wildcard route and when the angular will search for the exact path and it comes in the middle then there will not be any further search and this space will get display so always remember that you have to use this particular path at the bottom side of all your routes save the changes and this time about us is also working fine how it works is also working fine and all other pages are working fine. This is how you can handle the wildcard route in Angular.